never fight with Russia. On your every stratagem, they answer unpredictable stupidity. Do not expect that once taking advantage of Russia's weakness, you will receive dividends forever. Russian has always come for their money. And when they come do not rely on an agreement signed by you. You are supposed to justify. They are not worth the paper it is written. Therefore, with the Russian is to play fair or do not play. People never lie so much as after a hunt, during a war or before an election. What we learn from history is that no one learns from history. The secret of politics. Make a good treaty with Russia. The division of the United States into federations of equal force was decided long before the Civil War by the high financial powers of Europe. These bankers were afraid that the United States, if they remained in one block and as one nation, would attain economic and financial independence, which would upset their financial domination over the world. The voice of the Rothschilds prevailed. Too. Therefore, they sent their emissaries into the field to exploit the question of slavery and to open an abyss between the two sections of the Union. Only a fool learns from his own mistakes. The wise man learns from the mistakes of others. The Americans are a very lucky people. They're bordered to the north and south by weak neighbors, and to the east and west by fish. One day the Great European War will come out of some damn foolish thing in the Balkans 1888. The great questions of the day will not be settled by means of speeches and majority decisions but by iron and blood. Never believe anything in politics until it has been officially denied. God has a special providence for fools, drunks, and the United States of America. The death of Lincoln was a disaster for Christendom. There was no man in the United States great enough to wear his boots and the bankers went anew to grab the riches. I fear that foreign bankers with their craftants and tortuous tricks will entirely control the exuberant riches of America and use it to systematically corrupt civilization. We live in a wondrous time in which the strong is weak because of his moral scruples and the weak grows strong because of his audacity. A generation that has taken a beating is always followed by a generation that deals one. A really great man is known by three signs. Generosity in the design humanity in the execution, moderation in success. People who love sausage and people who believe in justice should never watch either of them being made. Even the most favorable outcome of the war will never lead to the decomposition of the main forces of Russia, which is based on millions of Russian. The latter, even if they break up international treaties, just as quickly reconnect with each other, like pieces of a particle of mercury.
When you want to fool the world, tell the truth. A bad plan that is well executed will yield much better results than a good plan that is poorly executed. Preventive war is like committing suicide out of fear of death. Man cannot control the current of events. He can only float with them and steer. A conquering army on the border will not be stopped by eloquence. The nation that has the schools has the future. Anyone who has ever looked into the glazed eyes of a soldier dying on the battlefield will think hard before starting a war. The government should cultivate the view also among the propertous classes of the population, those who are the most numerous and the least educated, that the state is not only an institution of necessity but also of welfare. By recognizable and direct advantages they must be led to look upon the state not as an agency devised solely for the protection of the better situated classes of society, but also as one serving their needs and interests. You can do everything with bayonets, but you are not able to sit on them. The most significant event of the 20th century will be the fact that the North Americans speak English. You can't destroy the Polish national consciousness or Poles on the battlefield, but if you give them power, they will destroy themselves. I have always found the word Europe on the lips of those who wanted something from others which they dared not demand in their own names.